what would you say to people who want to publish a course they've been dabbling in the idea maybe you know maybe they they've been publishing regular content videos on youtube or instagram but whenever they feel like they want to build that course there's this little voice popping up saying why would you publish it nobody will watch it you are not good right. enough uh, you are not the biggest expert in the world so w what would you say to those people how to manage that fear and how to build enough courage to put themselves out there because it's we both know it's it's quite scary at the beginning right okay this this is a good one this sort of imposter syndrome right why me yeah. why me to teach this and and so many of us run into this i mean even me i came out of law school really high in my class and did exceptionally well as a lawyer but there were points there where i was like geez why why me sort of that imposter syndrome in it um so i think even you know so many of us encounter this and i guess so one thing i'm very data driven so i'll just for anyone watching who's who's um, or listening who's feeling like this is the data proves you wrong in that most of the teaching out there, most of that 40, 50 million dollars a month I'm seeing in course sales is from people who aren't the top expert in their field. They don't have a PhD, they haven't written all the books on it, they're not famous, but they know more than the people that they're teaching. So one, the data is proving us wrong in that you don't need to be the greatest teacher of this subject in the world, uh, you know, and, and even who's to say who that person is. So tons and tons of people we're seeing are just getting started building a business. Even me, when I started teaching that LSAT course, which is still running today, you know, what is it, 15 years later and still generating revenue today. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I'd only written the LSAT maybe four months or five months or six months before I built that course. Hmm. But the feedback I get is it is really helpful for people, right? It's the proof is there. I get emails now saying pe from people saying, hey, I've been a lawyer for five years now. I just was thinking of your course. I found it online and wanted to say thank you. I took your course 10 years ago and it helped me get into law school and now I've got a career as a lawyer. I work on Wall Street or Bay Street um, and I'm successful. Thanks so much. So, and I was no, you know, I wasn't pre-qualified as some specialized expert LSAT teacher. So, so many people are doing this that aren't the top experts. So I think that you can as well. You just have to find that area you're passionate about. You have some personal experience in and share it with others. Plus, I think people you know there's something to be said from learning from the top person in the world on a subject but there's also a lot to be said that people relate better to someone who's a little closer to their level even because mm -hmm. sometimes when you become the best or you know really advanced you find it harder to relate back to the person who's just getting started all right so if you are still watching this video the chances are you really enjoyed it and if that's the case well first of all thank you for your time but also make sure that you subscribe and click on that little bell notification button. The simple reason is that if you don't click on it, you may not get notified when I publish new videos. Once again, thank you so much and have an amazing day.